Hi, I'm Chad from Ultimate Automotive. For over 19 years, we've been building relationships on a foundation of stability and trust. Looking out for our customers because you are our family. Upfront pricing and great service. That's what you can expect from us with convenient east and west side locations. We now know the name of the suspect arrested in a standoff involving a gun near Hartford last night. This morning, we'll hear from Minnehaha County Sheriff's deputies about how this wasn't his first recent run-in with the law. Plus, social distancing is elevating the importance of social media for Sioux Falls businesses. We'll take you to last night's very first virtual First Friday. Good morning, this is Kelloland On The Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry. It's a cold start to the day out there, but we do have a nice warm-up on the way as we head through the rest of the afternoon. It's also going to stay nice and quiet through really the entirety of the day, regardless of where you are. At worst, we may see a little bit of high-level cloud cover now and again on satellite and radar, but... Really, that's going to be just about it. A nice light southerly breeze out there will help us warm up. And that, along with the sunshine, will allow temperatures to climb at least into the mid to upper 40s along eastern parts of Kelloland. Even a few low 50s a little bit further south of Sioux Falls. But mid 50s along and West River, especially in southwestern Kelloland, a few exceptions to the north and west toward Faith and Mulbridge. But we do have a nice warm up on the way as we head through uh, really the next about. 48 or so hours. It's a gradual warming trend starting off today, but really starting to kick into higher gear as we go into Sunday and then more so Monday with well above average temperatures coming back to start next week. But how long does that last? I'll have the answer in your seven day forecast. All right, thank you, Adam. Well, South Dakota State Representative Bob Glanzer of Huron has died. Glanzer had been in critical condition with COVID 19 in Avera's intensive care unit in Sioux Falls. Glanzer's family confirms to Kelloland News that he died last night. Glanzer represented Beadle and Kingsbury counties in the legislature. You can read about reaction to Glanzer's death right now on Kelloland.com. The newest projections say COVID-19 won't peak in South Dakota until mid-June, and that mitigation efforts must continue through August. Governor Kristi Noem says 30 to 70 percent of South Dakotans could get the virus, but adds that steps taken in recent weeks have cut the number of coronavirus cases at the peak in half. We need to have the capacity to have 5,000 COVID-19 positive patients in the hospital at our peak date. And we need to have 1,300 ventilators available to take care of individuals that may need them at that date. South Dakota currently has 4,400 beds and 525 ventilators, but Noam expects to reach their goals prior to that peak. Minnehaha County authorities arrested a man for an alleged assault involving a gun Friday. The call came in just before 6 o'clock last night to a home on west, on west of Hartford. Deputies and members of the SWAT team negotiated with the suspect for about an hour before taking him into custody. 54-year-old Scott Nothdurft is charged with aggravated assault. Deputies say they are familiar with Nothdurft. We were just out here uh, just a couple days ago for something very similar. Um, that individual uh, uh, was released, and we, several hours later, were right back out here. Authorities were able to get the victim out of the home. Nobody was hurt. Well, the coronavirus has brought changes to a popular monthly event in downtown Sioux Falls. Yesterday's first Friday went completely online as a way to practice safe social distancing. Instead of people checking out shops downtown in person, they did so through a virtual first Friday. So we do have an online presence. We've got a website. We've got Facebook, Instagram. So we're trying to find people through that way right now. Wild says online sales and telephone orders are extremely important for her business during this pandemic. You can check out this story at Kelloland.com for a link to the virtual First Fridays page on the downtown Sioux Falls website. Adam. Well, for a future cast, it is going to be a very nice day today. Really from start to finish, no major concerns here beyond a little bit of cloud cover trying to make itself known. But if that's going to be the worst we have to deal with, I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves for the day on Saturday. Sunday, though, still pretty nice. A little more cloud cover, still decent with a few showers trying to crash the party in a couple locations uh, throughout Kelloland. But I think that's going to be an exception to the rule as low pressure gradually moves on through. Monday, also mainly dry, a few showers 
was not out of the question in northeastern parts of Kelloland as a frontal boundary moves through. That could spark maybe an isolated shower or two in a few locations. But again, far from a washout. And you can see that on the precipitation outlook over the next couple of days through about Tuesday afternoon. At most, a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain in northeastern Kelloland elsewhere. And just some scattered showers to keep an eye on. Through the day today, though, nothing to worry about. Temperatures climbing into the upper 40s to low 50s. The former in northeastern Kelloland, the latter basically everywhere else. Overnight low temperatures falling into the mid 20s to low 30s with a pretty calm breeze out there. So, yes, it'll be chilly. But it's not going to be as cold as previous nights. A nice warm up takes us through Sunday into the first half of next week, but we have a few chances for some scattered showers in place before another cool down takes us into the end of next week. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.